Mesa Verde, a land that is rich in beauty, natural resources, and historical significance. The name Mesa Verde is a Spanish name which means green table, a name given to the area because of the large, fertile plateau that dominates the landscape. Mesa Verde is a place of beauty, natural abundance, plentiful wildlife, and most importantly, the rich and rewarding history of the prehistoric Puebloan people. In 1906, Congress enacted legislation which was signed into law by President Theodore Roosevelt, designating Mesa Verde as a United States National Park. Nearly seven decades later, in 1976, the multi-storied cliffside villages of Mesa Verde caught the attention of UNESCO as well, and the park was listed as a World Heritage Site. Mesa Verde is the first national park that was established with the primary purpose of preserving the works of humankind. There are more than 4,000 archaeological sites found within Mesa Verde National Park. These sites give us a detailed glimpse into the lives of the ancient people who lived here thousands of years ago. You can trace the steps of the ancestral Puebloan people who developed and cultivated the area for hundreds of years before their rather sudden departure around AD 1300 for reasons which are still not fully known to this day. Mesa Verde is truly one of the country's most fascinating archaeological treasures. The skillful handiwork and architecture of the ancient people who developed this area thousands of years ago is both fascinating and inspiring. Built on mesas and dating back to about AD 1200, the remnants of ancient dwellings have been remarkably well preserved to this day. The dryness of the high desert climate has allowed many of these sites to remain relatively unchanged through the ages. You can learn more about the attractions and activities in Mesa Verde by visiting www.nationalparkreservations.com forward slash Mesa Verde PHP. One of the most popular attractions for visitors to Mesa Verde would certainly be the magnificent cliff dwellings carved out and constructed within the alcoves of the steep canyon walls throughout the region. Several of these cliffside villages exist inside the park and are open to be explored by visitors from late spring through early fall. Some of the more popular examples of these cliff dwellings include Cliff Palace, the Balcony House, the Long House, and the Spruce Tree House. It is estimated that the ancestral Puebloan people who built these impressive structures within Mesa Verde probably first arrived in the area around AD 550. It is believed that they lived and thrived in the area for seven to eight hundred years before vacating the area rather suddenly around AD 1300. Though no one knows the exact reasons why the ancestral Puebloans left Colorado and moved into what is now Arizona and New Mexico, some believe that growth of the population was depleting the food supply within the Mesa Verde area, forcing the tribes to move south. Tickets are required for visiting the cliff dwellings on ranger-conducted tours. These tours are seasonal and tickets must be bought in person at the visitor center. Knowledgeable guides will give you an in-depth understanding of the remarkable people who found peace and inspiration in this enchanting land thousands of years ago. Tours are offered through November 6 and tickets are available at the Chapin Museum when the visitor center is closed. Some of the popular ranger guided tours worth checking out include the Cliff Palace Tour, the Balcony House Tour, the Long House Tour, and the Spruce Tree House Tour. Each of these attractions are well worth the nominal fee of $3 per tour. Cliff Palace is undoubtedly the most popular tour within Mesa Verde. This tour starts at the Overlook on Cliff Palace Loop Road. From there you will advance to the most visited of all the cliff dwellings within the park, Cliff Palace. Studies have revealed that during its peak of habitation, the Cliff Palace dwelling probably contained more than 150 separate rooms and 23 kivas or ceremonial rooms and would have been the home to approximately 100 people. The Cliff Palace tour is a moderately difficult trek and requires tour goers to climb several 8 to 10 foot ladders along the way. The Cliff Palace tour should only be attempted by people who are in decent physical shape. Balcony House Tour begins in the Balcony House parking area on the Cliff Palace Loop Road and it is the most difficult of the four popular tours within Mesa Verde and definitely not for those who fear heights. 
The balcony house dwelling is a mid-sized dwelling space which contains about 40 rooms. The balcony house dwelling is only accessible via ranger-led tours. The balcony house tour is certainly not for the faint of heart. By the end of this tour you will have climbed a 32-foot ladder, crawled through a 12-foot tunnel, and scaled a 60-foot stairway carved into steep rocks. Don't let those stats scare you, however. This tour is definitely worth the extra effort that is required to visit. The third of our four featured tours within the park is the Longhouse Tour. This dwelling is on the Weatherill Mesa. From the Weatherill Kiosk, you will take a tram to the Longhouse Trailhead. The Longhouse Tour is only available from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend. The Longhouse Dwelling is much more easily accessible than Cliff Palace and the Balcony House. There are only two ladders on the Longhouse Tour that you need to climb, and both are 15 foot in length. Like most of the Cliff Dwelling Tours in Mesa Verde, the Longhouse Tour will be more enjoyable to those who are not intimidated by heights. The Spruce Tree House is the third largest of all the Cliff Dwellings within Mesa Verde. It is believed to have been constructed between AD 1211 and 1278. The Spruce Tree House consists of approximately 130 rooms and 8 kivas. The Spruce Tree House would have been home to as many as 80 people. The Spruce Tree House was one of the first dwellings to be discovered by modern man when two ranchers happened upon it as they were searching for stray cattle in the year 1880. Spruce Tree House is the only tour within Mesa Verde that is open throughout the year, and there is no fee required to visit this dwelling. During the summer, you can visit the Spruce Tree House on a self-guided tour. This is the only cliff dwelling within the park that allows for access without a ranger guide. However, if you prefer to have a ranger guide, this is an option as well. The ranger-led tours for Spruce Tree House began at the Chapin Museum. Keep in mind that seasonal openings can vary slightly for many of the tours at Mesa Verde, so if you are planning on experiencing all of them, be sure to plan ahead. Also keep in mind that summer desert heat and rough terrain combine to make these tours even more strenuous than they would otherwise be, so it's important to stay hydrated. Always carry water. As popular as the cliff dwellings are, they are only part of what makes Mesa Verde such an archaeological treasure. You'll also find Mesa Top Pueblos, farming terraces, reservoirs, and numerous scenic overlooks, with hundreds of amazing photo opportunities throughout the park. While you're visiting Mesa Verde, be on the lookout for stunning examples of native baskets and other crafts. Hot days and cool nights are typical throughout the summer, and winters in Mesa Verde are generally mild although snow is common in the park from October through early spring and sometimes even into May. At any time of the year you can explore the park independently on one of six well-marked and paved trails. Knife Edge, Prater, Point Lookout, Spruce Canyon, Farming Terraces, and Petroglyph Point. Be forewarned that some of these trails are more strenuous than others and may require climbing steep ladders. Don't start on a trail without first knowing the degree of difficulty and the time it will take you to complete your hike. If you enjoy bird watching and wildlife viewing, keep an eye out for some of the 200 species of birds, rock squirrels, and rabbits that live in Mesa Verde. Depending on the trail you select, you may also see coyotes, fox, black bear, mule deer, or even the occasional mountain lion. If you happen to venture off trail at any point, you might even encounter some of the more exotic high desert creatures like tarantulas, lizards, and snakes. You can learn more about the attractions and activities in Mesa Verde by visiting www.nationalparkreservations.com forward slash mesaverde.php